If you want your business to see success in its online marketing efforts, I'd argue that there's one thing that's more important than everything else. Is it having the best headline? Nope. Is it showing your ad at the exact right time of day? Nope. If you want to be successful, you have to target the right audience. As an online marketing coach, it's painful to see businesses spend so much time in their ad creation, picking the exact right call to action, making sure their description is on point, and then at the end of the day, the audience that they actually target isn't an audience that makes sense for their business. Well, one of the pros of Google Ads is being able to select from Google's list of audiences that includes people who are looking to buy or actively researching your product or service. You can select different demographics and you can even upload your own data like a list of email addresses to target. I've noticed that there is a lot of confusion with this. So in today's video, we're gonna discuss the three most common audience settings and terms in Google Ads. If we haven't met yet, my name is Scott Redgate. I'm an online marketing coach and I've been in digital marketing for over 12 years. The purpose of this channel is to help you make more and spend less in your online marketing efforts and give you the confidence that you need that you can manage your own digital marketing campaigns without hiring an expensive agency that doesn't understand your business to do it for you. Since you're watching this video, I have a gift that I want to give you. It's my PPC cost cutting cheat sheet. Dozens of businesses like you have used this document to save thousands of dollars inside of their Google ads account. And you can get yours free at scottredgate.com slash cheat sheet. And I'll leave a link in the description below. All right, when it comes to audiences in Google Ads, there's three phrases that you have to be aware of. The first two are actual ways that you target the audience that you choose. These options are targeting and observation. Let's break down both of these. The targeting option in Google Ads allows you to specify who actually sees your ads. This narrows down who actually views your advertisements. For example, let's say that you set up a display campaign where your ads show on other websites across the internet. You can go into Google Ads, find the audience that you want, and then target your ads to those people specifically. Let me show you how easy it is to actually select an audience. Okay, so right now I am in a display campaign in the new Google Ads interface. And then on the left-hand side here, you'll see the section that says audience, keywords, and content. So if you select audiences, you'll be presented with this screen. And then you'll see audience segments. Simply select add audience segments, select the ad group. This is just a dummy campaign, so it's a paused ad group. But then you can see here, it's the targeting option for your audiences. And now you can go in and you can start searching uh, through different audiences that Google has. So let's say, for example, you want to target people that are in market for apparel or accessories, or maybe you want to dig in a little bit further there and say, okay, people that are interested in active wear or backpacks. All you have to do is check those boxes and then you'll see them selected here on the right hand side. And then you select save. Now, if you want to target that audience specifically, make sure to use the targeting option and make sure to have audience expansion off. If you have audience expansion set to on, it will go and target people beyond the audience that you actually selected. I'd recommend using this targeting setting when you know exactly who you want to show your ads to. I found that it works well if you're running display ads inside of Google Ads. All right, now let's talk about another setting that has almost no downside to set up, especially if you're running search campaigns. This is called the observation setting. Observation targeting in Google Ads allows you to see how your ads are performing for specific audiences or placements, but without restricting the overall reach of your campaign. Think of it like this. You set up a search campaign targeting the keywords related to your products or services, and then your ad appears when people are searching for similar phrases or keywords to what you input. Observation targeting allows you to see the stats for the different audience segments that your ad is showing to. And one of the things that I like about observation targeting is that once you have it set up, it actually doesn't impact the performance of your campaign. You can have it layered in and simply monitor the stats of the groups of people who are searching. This could be very valuable information for your business down the line. But the way that I like to use observation targeting 
is a little bit different. You can set it up, monitor the statistics of the different audience groups, and then increase or decrease the bids for those people. Here's an example. Okay, so let's say that you've selected home improvement, the in-market segment, as an audience in your campaign in observation mode. On the right-hand side of the screen, you'll see where you have the ability to either increase or decrease the bid for this audience group inside your search campaign when it's set to observation setting. The last phrase that's super important for you to understand in Google Ads is audience signals. And this is specific to Performance Max campaigns. Audience signals in Performance Max are a type of targeting setting that you can use to tell Google about the types of people that you want to reach. Google will then use this information to guide who they show your ads to. This is different from targeting and observation because this is simply a recommendation to Google and they can go beyond your actual targeting settings. Let's say that you sell dog food online and you want to target your ad to dog lovers. You could select this as an audience signal in Performance Max and it gives you a good starting point to find your future customers. Again, this is only a suggestion so Google can go beyond dog lovers as an audience and then start showing your ads more frequently to people that it believes are going to convert at a higher rate. So let's say that Google thinks that homeowners is a better audience for you. They might actually start showing your ad to homeowners more often than dog lovers or maybe even a combination of the two. All right, so in summary, the three phrases that you have to be aware of in Google Ads as it relates to audiences is targeting, observation, and audience signals. Learning these basic settings will help you have a better understanding of how you can actually reach your customers effectively in Google Ads. Hey, I hope that was helpful. Could you like this video, subscribe to my channel to give me a little momentum in the YouTube algorithm. Until next time, take care.